Hello, I thought I might start off a vlog this week, maybe. Um, so this is the beginning. I have to head off to work right now, but today is Saturday and I decided I'm going to attempt to participate in the 24 and 48 readathon, which means you have to try to read for 24 hours over the span of 48 hours, which started last night at midnight. I don't plan on reading 24 hours, I mean, if I would have done that, I should have not slept for as long as I did last night. Um, and I still plan on sleeping till noon this morning and tomorrow. So we're just gonna try to read as much as I can. It's just gonna give me motivation to read. I really wanna finish Six of Crows this weekend. Um, and my boyfriend's out of town, so it means I got nothing else to do. Um, I also have Renegades on ebook, which is due pretty soon, like in a couple of days for my library. And I'm only on chapter four, and I was gonna try to finish it, but I really don't know if I can. So I may work on that, or I may abandon it for now and just put myself back on hold and start something else. Then I also am working on the Night Circus audiobook, which I should probably get through a decent chunk this weekend. I'm like halfway through right now, so let's do it. All right, real quick, before I start my drive to work, I'm just gonna update on what I've done so far. So starting last night, and including this morning when I woke up and read again, I have read, pulling up my stopwatch, two hours and 40 minutes. So that's like a decent amount, but we'll see what I can do now. All right, I probably do not look great. Just got off of work, but I had some car trouble, so didn't really get to listen to much of my audiobook. I had to Uber home and leave my car at work. Great. So I probably got maybe like a few minutes of audiobook done, and then on the Uber, uh, Uber ride home, I read Renegades on my phone. So that was like 30 minutes of reading. So uh, it's like 10 o'clock now on Saturday. Huh. And I will try to get some reading done. Maybe I can get at least to the last part of Six of Crows. That'd be great. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'm only at like maybe three hours of reading. <laughs> it's going great. Bye bye. All right, another post-work update. It is Sunday now, and let's see, I went to work. It's about it. Listened to some audiobook on my way back from work. Um, oh, crap, that reminds me. I didn't stop my stopwatch. Don't tell anybody. One second. Stop. All right, well, I just won't start my stopwatch again when I start reading. <clears throat> right now, my stopwatch says I read for seven hours and 37 minutes. Only like some of that's a bit off, um, but I'll fix it <laughs> roughly. So I've roughly read around seven hours and it is like seven, seven o'clock <clears throat> on the night before it ends. So I have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, five hours to finish this readathon. <laughs> so I guess we'll see how that goes. Um, by my cozy fireplace that I now have at my new place. By the way, I moved apartments. Well, I'm now in a condo. And, oh, I should show you my new bookcase. Um, later. <laughs> um, so I'm still like unpacking at my new place in the process of doing that, but um, I don't feel like doing it right now. So I'm gonna continue reading. I'm going to continue working on Six of Crows. I have one part left, one sec. All right, I'm gonna continue working on Six of Crows. I have one part left. That means I have like 60 pages left, okay? Look it. Also, I got these little um, magnetic bookmarks because I thought they were cute. This is my Hermione one, you know, fitting for Six of Crows, definitely. <laughs> and I, see? Part six, properties, what, 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 what up? Um, yeah, I bought this little bookmarks because I thought they were cute and then I realized these are way better than normal bookmarks because they don't fall out of your books. Great, now my bookmark cater. Guess we'll see. Um, I also really want to finish Night Circus like ASAP but I have a long car ride tomorrow so hopefully I'll get a decent chunk of that done. I probably have five-ish hours left on the Night Circus so that's cool. Renegades, I'm on like chapter four still and I don't think I'm gonna finish it 
anytime soon. I've been trying to read it, but it's just like, I can't, I can't. So I just know there's just so much more left and I have like four days to return it to my library app. I think it's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to uh, put another hold on it. I can't renew it because someone else um, has it reserved. So gonna unintentionally DNF for now <laughs> and finish it later. Um, whoopee. So we'll see what ebook I pick up next. It just depends on what's available at my library, but I think I have a few options. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just chill for a bit after work and maybe watch some booktube and then I will try to finish Six of Crows tonight. That is my goal. And then I do have to do some unpacking. So maybe I will listen to Night Circus while I unpack. Sounds like a plan. I have a candle burning in my other video if you you know watch that it is levi's pumpkin mocha breve from novel yours makes my house smell like a coffee shop so that's great um maybe eventually to anyone who cares once i actually have the place kind of together i will show a tour you guys don't care i will give you a bookshelf tour how about that because i'm planning on getting big bookshelves from ikea that I can't fill yet, but one day, one day, I will fill them. Because at this rate, I just keep buying books, even though I have so many books on my shelf I have not read yet. Yay. Okay, time to go chill for a bit. Peace. Real quick, before I go, I want to give, like, not a, I don't know, just an update for reading-wise. I want to give an update reading wise um, because I'm not going to do like a whole review in this vlog. This is just going to be like a weekly vlog. We're going to see how it goes. Woohoo! Um, so I'm not going to give a review of the books I'm reading because they're going to be in a January wrap up that I filmed. So look out for that, I guess. But a few reactions. I, uh, okay, spoiler alert for Six of Crows. Um, when I put my hand down, you can listen again, so mute me for a hot sec. <clears throat> um, I just had, like, the heist is finishing up. They just jumped down the tree hole. <laughs> so, brought to see how that finishes. And, first off, when it seemed like Mateus um, was going to betray Nina, didn't buy that for a second. Also, I love their relationship. And it's very cute. Yes, yes. I also love Inez and Cass. I also love Jasper and Wyla. Listen, I understand why people like this book so much because all the ships are great. And it's like very rare that, you know, if you have three people, there's gonna be three couples that break up nicely, but like, I'm fine with it. And it surprised me so much when both, when you find out both things about Jasper. One, he's obviously into guys. Two, that he's a fabricator. Jesper is such an enigma. And then, and then Wylan, like, digging the, <laughs> the flirtatious vibes from Jesper. I didn't know he needed this. <laughs> um, what else? I think that's it for Six of Crows. So I just gotta finish that up. Um, why was that? And then, oh wait. What's happening to Inej? I don't know what's happening to Inej right now. I guess we'll find out and then um so hand down no more spoilers for six of crows um but now night circus so i'll put up a, a peace sign night circus <laughs> um spoilers for night circus i just got to a part where what the heck is his name marco told alexander that he was in love with Celia, is that her name? Oh my god, I'm blanking so hard. That was a great moment, and then he just walks in and he just kisses her. This is amazing. I'm very happy I'm having, oh, done with spoilers. <laughs> I am very happy that I am having some good reads to end January because my beginning of January was not great because I, we'll talk about this in my video, but I listened to some audiobooks that were just not super great i listened to we were liars and then shatter me we were liars it's like okay we, shatter me was just like 
so cringe. I don't know if I'd like Shatter Me better if I didn't listen to audiobook, but I'll talk about this more later, but like, I'm happy I'm getting some, some good reads now, so. Okay, goodbye for real now. Bye-bye. Hello, I look terrible. Um, let me update, since I didn't um, update yesterday. Today is Tuesday. And yesterday I had to deal with my car problems. There were rodents living inside my car. That's why it um, wasn't working. They chewed on some wires. So got that fixed. Got those rodents out of there. Well, they weren't like in there. Their housing and like nuts and stuff were in there. So fixed that. And what else? I don't know. Just other hustle stuff. Um, I've only started like one I've only read like one chapter of Scythe and I started Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black um because I had to return Renegades and I'll just read that some other time um it's my library app so um Darkest Part of the Forest was on there so I'm starting that only read like maybe not even a chapter of that this so far um because I took a bath yesterday for the first time like ever uh, with a bath bomb and just like read for a little bit listen to some night circus as well I'm almost done with night circus I probably have like an hour left tops so that's great I'm kind of I think I know how the end is going if that makes sense so yeah that's my update should be done with night circus soon I mean I wanted it to finish it you know before January ended so I could be like that was a January book um, and then, yeah, Scythe and Darkest Part of the Forest is going to be basically the beginnings of my February TBR. I don't think I'm going to be making, like, actual TBRs now as months come because I just kind of pick and choose whatever the heck I want to read. <laughs> and it doesn't go as planned ever, so. Cool. Alrighty, gonna go chill pass out now. Bye-bye. Hello, quick update. So I realized I never actually said I um, finished Six of Crows. I did that. Um, I'll talk more about that uh, tomorrow maybe. And I finished Night Circus as well. Woot woot. I finished them before January ended so they're January reads. Yay. Um, I've just been reading a bit more of Scythe. Only read like a teeny bit more of Darkest Part of the Forest. That's just going to be my when I'm falling asleep or when I'm in work read. And then I started uh, Before the Devil Breaks Me on audiobook. So those are my three reads currently. I will let you know more about Six of Crows and Night Circus and their endings later. I'm going to go to Dave and Buster's. Peace. <laughs> Hello, so I am currently on my way to a chocolate lovers festival before I go to work, so that's fun. And my boyfriend's actually coming with me, even though he hates chocolate, um, so that's nice of him. Should be fun. I am going to listen to you some Before the Devil Breaks You on my way to work. I feel like this is going to take me a lot longer to go through than um, last month. Last month I basically... I got through three audiobooks throughout the span of the month, so that's exciting. So maybe I'll get to at least like one and a half this month, because um, this one's like 20 hours, and all the other ones I listened to last month were much shorter. Um, so let me just update you on stuff that I had completed that I totally forgot to talk about. Six of Crows, I finished Six of Crows, I really enjoyed it, it was a good ride. Um, I gave it a five stars. Duh. Um, I purchased uh, the, what's it called? Shadow and Bone series. I purchased the Grishaverse, the Grisha trilogy, um, because I want to read it before this whole Netflix thing goes down. But I'm worried I'm not going to like it because just so many people seem to not love it. Uh, <laughs> so that should be interesting. I'll get to that eventually. Um, I also finished what was it night circus this is a wonderful angle the sun's shining right in my face yay 
Okay, um, I also finished The Night Circus and on audiobook, and that was really good, too. Um, I eventually knew kind of how it was going to end, but I was, like, happy with that. Um, really nice love story. I'll talk more about it in my wrap-up for January. But, yeah, I give it a 5 out of 5 stars as well. So, woohoo! I started with kind of, like three star reads and ended the month with five star reads so that makes me happier I guess um what else so yeah I read a bit more of uh darkest part of the forest I'm only like 15% through right now so <laughs> I'm slowly working on that I've realized even though I kind of want to focus more on scythe because it is like more important read to me I need to try to read darkest part of the forest First, because it's actually due at a certain time so yeah we'll see how it how that goes don't need another renegades on my hands <clears throat> all right peace gonna go to this fe festival hello all right so I don't know what I've said <laughs> um, today is Monday so this is probably going to be the end of my reading vlog. I know nothing's really happened, and anything that I've actually done out and about, I haven't shown you because I am socially awkward. Woo. Um, right now, I just got out of work, and I'm about to go to a meetup for the 24 and 48 readathon. Um, so it's some of the hosts of that, and a few different people are going to be meeting up for that at an indie bookstore in Old Town, Alexandria. So that should be fun. Um, I am extremely socially awkward though, so we'll see how this goes. Um, there's a dog, there's a dog at the shop, a shop dog. <laughs> so at least I'll see a dog. Um, if it becomes too weird, I'll just, you know, wander around um, the area a bit. But yeah, let's go do that. Um, an update, I am like 100 pages in to Scythe and like 130 pages into Scythe and then probably like 100 pages into Darkest Part of the Forest as well and I'm like three or four hours into Before the Devil Breaks You so exciting hopefully I will get more of that done today yeah that's about it I also need to finish I know I just finished editing a video for what is it my all the books I read in 2018 so I have to post that today because I'm not doing great with my whole like trying to post once a week thing but I got like what 14 subscribers like hey what's up <laughs> thanks thanks for being here with me um thanks for watching <laughs> if you were actually watching this I appreciate it I really do because this is just me trying this is me <laughs> trying to see if I can actually do this and I want to cr try to create content and I love having creative outlets so you get this you're welcome all right also I, oh my god I have this zit like right in my cupid's boat that's the most annoying freaking spot for a zit because everyone looks at your mouth or your eyes I don't need this <laughs> all right I gotta go now bye bye gonna get like McDonald's or something probably because I left my sandwich at home and I'm mad about it. All right, time to listen to more diviners. Oh my God, wait, real quick. The freaking love triangle between Evie and Sam and Jericho. That's some good shit. All right, bye. All right, I am back from the little meetup for the 24 and 48 readathon. And it was really nice to meet everybody. Um, there are just a few people there, but it was nice and, and quaint, and the bookstore looks really nice. Um, it's Old Town Books in, uh, Alexandria, Virginia. Um, and I bought a book, so I'll show you. Alright, so the book that I got is The Gilded Woes by Roshni Trashki. Trash, 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 I can't pronounce it right. Roshni Trash, she. <laughs> Listen, you know who it is. Um, this has been a really um, hyped book recently, and it's on my TBR. And I felt like I should support the business and purchase something. Oh, I just noticed. Never mind, it's supposed to be like that. 
Um, I just figured that I should buy something and support the business and it's on my TBR so yeah. Plus it's a hardcover and I don't actually have many hardcovers but now I do. Let me see. Ooh, it looks nice. Naked. Here is the front side. Pretty. See, that's the one thing I like about um, hardcovers is that you can get really cool, like, naked books. But other than that, don't care for them. <laughs> Just because, you know, paperbacks are cheaper. Blah, blah, blah. But it makes it feel like I have something nice, so. Um, basically, this is about, basically it's like a treasure hunt. It's kind of like, it's been described as Six of Crows in like 1800s Paris or something like that. <laughs> um, and they're hunting down some sort of treasure or something. I don't know. Anyway, people seem to like it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Woohoo! Um, I'm trying not to buy as many books this month. I mean, last month I bought like five and they were all on sale, but oh, I also bought an audiobook. I bought Strange of the Dreamer on audiobook because it was like five bucks. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to not buy as many because I don't have money for that. <laughs> um, so maybe this will be the one book I buy in February. <laughs> ha! Fun joke. Um, I guess we'll see. I've already bought a bunch of bookish, um, just bookish stuff. I bought a book sleeve and a tote bag. They're both Harry Potter related. Um, so if those come in soon, I will show them to you. If not, um, I might just end the vlog here. I got through a bit more of Before the Devil Breaks You. Jeez. Um, so yeah, it's a really long one. It's like 20 to 21 hours, so gotta get through that um but yeah i mean other than that i bought a hat so that's fun oh, all right uh that's about it um i'm just gonna wrap up this vlog nothing really happened but that's you know fine uh i will see you guys later don't know if i'm gonna do more weekly vlogs we will see. It depends on, like, if things happen in life. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so if you like it, thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, you know, all the good stuff. And I'll see you later. Peace.